quantity discount. Now, an entity usually enjoys discount for placing large order quantities. This will normally change the purchase cost and might change the economic order quantity. This issue can be solved through the following steps. So one, we have to calculate the economic order quantity, ignoring the discount. That is using the original cost and the quantity as if there was no discount of it. Two, if the economic order quantity is below the quantity to enjoy a discount, we now have to calculate the total annual inventory cost. We just ignore the discount and go ahead with the economic order quantity. We now have to recalculate the total annual inventory cost using the quantity that we must buy to enjoy the discount. Once that is done, we compare the cost in step two, which is the cost for the economic order quantity and the cost for the discounted quantity and choose the minimum cost. Now, if there are multiple other quantities, we have to repeat to calculate the annual inventory cost with each discounted quantity. Then we compare to find which is smaller or lesser. Let's test our understanding again. So, Papa's annual demand is 50,000 computers at a unit cost of $30. Now, the ordering cost for each other place is $20. The holding cost annually is 10% of the inventory value. The supplier now offers as discount on purchase price as follows. So we have the other quantity to place and the discount to enjoy. So any quantity less than 5,000, there's no discount. From 5,000 to less than 10,000, there's a 1% discount on each purchase cost. For any quantity above 10,000, then you enjoy 1.5% discount on the purchase cost. We are now supposed to calculate the economic order quantity. So for the solution, we will calculate the total cost for the economic order quantity. The one we calculated earlier, it was 816 units. The total inventory cost was $1,502,449.49. We move to the second segment, which is from zero to below 5,000 units. And now here, because the economic order quantity is the best unit to order, any quantity outside this will lead to a higher total inventory cost. With this 5,000, ordinarily, it will lead to a more total inventory cost and it's coming without any discount. There wouldn't be the need to calculate the total inventory cost because we already know the outcome. So we jump to the 5,000 units and above. So we use the lower side, which is the 5,000. The purchase cost is going to be 50,000 annual demand multiplied by the purchase cost per unit of $30 multiplied by the 99% which is the full cost discounted by 1% leading to $1,485,000. The order or the reorder cost is going to be the annual demand divided by the other units which is 5,000 multiplied by the other cost per unit. There is no discount here. It's fixed which will lead to $200. The holding cost will also be the average inventory, which is the units per order of 5,000 divided by 2 multiplied by the holding cost per unit, which is the 10% of the purchase cost. That is 10% of the $30, $3. That will also give $7,500. So the total inventory cost at 5,000 units will lead to $1,492,000. So we realize that 5,000 units comes with a lower total inventory cost. So we choose this over the 816 units. We move on to the other segment, which is 10,000 and above. So we choose the lower one, 10,000 units. So we start with the purchase cost, 50,000 annual demand, multiplied by purchase cost per unit, $30, multiplied by 98.5%, which is the 100 less the 1.5% it comes with, leading to 1 million. $477,500. The reorder cost is the 50,000 divided by the order quantity of 10,000 multiplied by the order cost per unit, which will lead to $100. So with the holding cost, average inventory, 10,000 order quantity divided by two multiplied by the holding cost per unit, it will lead to $15,000. So the total inventory cost will lead to $1,000,000. 
$492,600. So of the four options provided, the best is the 10,000 units, which is going to be the new economic order quantity. Let's now move on to deal with economic batch quantity, also known as optimum batch quantity. It measures the quantity to be produced at the least average cost in the given batch or product run. Now, the goal of calculating the economic batch quantity is to ensure that production is done in a required quantity and quality at the lowest cost. Now, this is different from economic order quantity as the EOQ, that's the economic order quantity, deals with orders being purchased from a third party or a supplier. But this one deals with when the order is being manufactured in-house. So the sales department places that order to the production department, not from outside. Now, there are certain assumptions to be made when calculating the economic batch quantity. These are one, demand is supposed to be known and constant within the period of time, say a week, a month, but most of the times a year. Secondly, the unit cost of the inventory item should be constant throughout the estimated period. Thirdly, production time should also be known and constant, not to change. Then lastly, setup cost is also constant. Let's look at the formula for economic batch quantity. This is 2 multiplied by the cost per order multiplied by the annual demand divided by the holding cost per unit also be multiplied by 1 minus the division of annual demand by R. So the C is the fixed cost per order, D is annual demand, C is the holding cost per unit, then the R is the rate of annual production. Now the average inventory here will be the economic batch quantity divided by 2 multiplied by 1 minus D divided by R. Let's test understanding. So, purpose limited annual demand again is 50,000 units. They produce their own unit at a cost per unit of $30. Their annual production capacity is at a rate of 1 million units, that is the R. Machine setup cost is $100 per batch, this is the CO. Annual holding costs are 10% of inventory value, we have the CH. We are supposed to calculate the economic batch quantity and the annual cost involved for that quantity. So for solution, we'll state the formula again. So going into it, it will be 2 times $100, which is the cost per order from the manufacturing plant by the annual demand, 50000 Then we come down, three. then we multiply by 1 minus the D is 50000 annual demand divided by the rate of production, which is the 1 million. So it will give a numerator of $10 million, a denominator of 2.85, which will lead to an economic batch quantity of 1,873 units. It means that any time an order is supposed to be placed, there has to be a manufacturing of computers to the tune of 1,873, not more, not less. Let's now calculate the average inventory. The formula again is the economic batch quantity divided by 2 into bracket 1 minus the annual demand divided by the rate of production. So economic batch quantity is 1,873 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 minus the 50,000 being annual demand divided by the 1 million. Now give 936.5 multiplied by 0 0.95, so leading to 890 units. So total inventory cost now will be the production cost 50,000 at $30, that is 1.5 million, that is the annual demand times the $30. Then the reorder cost will be 50,000 divided by the economic batch quantity multiplied by $20, which is $533.90. The holding cost is now the average inventory we just calculated multiplied by the $3, giving $2,670. The total inventory will now be $1,503,203.90. If you place an order outside the 
1873 you are guaranteed of something higher than this and as a business it's not prudent to go in that direction